Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome back. If you've been here before, check out this amazing location, man. A beautiful lakeside park up on the east side of the Quantock Hills. Stumbled across this thing last night, hunting round in the hills up top for overnighting spots. Nothing up there, but found this. Beautiful. No bother, no cars, and just pure nature and quietness all night long. From here on in though, I have a bit of an issue because there was no phone signal here and I haven't got a clue where I am or where I'm heading. I'm hoping to be heading west today into the heart of Exmoor to check out its beautiful moorlands, its wild horses and its rugged coastline. I've got a couple of amazing looking hikes to do over there and hopefully a couple of amazing looking car camping spots with sea views, fingers crossed. I do however, need to pick up some supplies beforehand and because we've got no phone signal I don't know where I am or where I'm going so I figured I'll just head east until we pick up a signal and then take it from there it's going to be a proper little misadventure this one I've got about another week down this area and today's the start of getting lost and into the wilds brilliant let's go thing I didn't think I'd find up here is dinosaurs. No way. That's a bit mad, isn't it? Look at that little bad boy. Oh, he looks like Godzuki, man. Godzilla's cousin. Oh, nightmare. That reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to have these green cord trousers. We weren't very well off and I used to have to wear them for school like every day. And yeah, guess what my nickname was because of it. Yeah, Godzuka. I was little as well, so, you know, yeah, back in the day, man. But right now, I'm wearing all Didas stuff. Not Adidas, Didas. It's like a cop. <laughs> so, yeah, we're moving up in the world. Yeah, get, oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, sad now. What are you doing to me? Not fun. Apparently, this is the road. Another bloody 26 minutes. Oh man, I hope the roads ain't bad like this. This is a uh, sketchy don't you do. Oh wow, we're here and yeah, it's relief I'm feeling if I'm honest. Crap, and now this mate just don't look like it's a bloody parking spot. Oh well, hang on a minute, I think I might have found one. Dang, looks like you gotta pay for parking. Let's hope it's National Trust. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, if I'm paying for parking, oh, I'm definitely gonna be using the facilities. It's not too bad, to be honest. It's five pound all day and three pound for three hours, but uh, yeah, bear with while I get my money's worth. Hey. <laughs> oh, oh, hang on. Private cubicles as well with wooden doors. Oh, this is worth the money. Let's go. Cutting it brave from a distance, nonchalant like. Ah, oh, feeling it. Seriously, like I'm not gonna go back and double check. Of course, yeah. Game on then. The tar steps. Pretty sorts about this. I've probably said it already, but yeah, this is one of Exmoor's or Exmoor's most popular hike and area for visiting, apparently. Which is another good reason why I need to upgrade the roads, but hey, it starts well. It's in a pretty beautiful area. It's a 2.3 mile hike that I'm doing. Uh, it's supposedly a loop, but it's essentially an out and back. Cuts us up towards the tar steps and a bit of woodland around there. And then back, being an out and back. I had wanted to cut this trail last year when I was here about the same time in Exmoor. 
but I just didn't get around to it. So to be here today, yeah, pretty sight to be honest. And we're just about holding out with the weather. It was heavy rain on the way up here, and now the sun's shining. Time of the ninja, you know. Rah. Ah, well, good news from the start. Man, I'm like five minutes off the car park, and we're already at the tar steps. Let's go, let's go. Ooh, I've got to say, yeah, it looks pretty gnarly, dude. Check it out. This is wicked. Wow. From what I'm told, it gets washed away every year somehow i guess the river just rises up and it gets rebuilt which is one of the awesome things about it and why i wanted to come and check it out because a few people had told me about it on top of that oh yes i've got him let's go because this apparently is what they call a clapper bridge and it was built in 1000 bc yeah many many moons ago but not by people oh no by the devil himself, yes. Because for some unapparent reason, he had a bet with a giant. Doesn't say if he won or lost, but he ended up building the bridge. The Clapper Bridge, the Tar Steps. Wicked mate, I don't know, all these places, they all got a little bit of history, and they all seem to have these giant tales and such. Folklore, you know. And to be honest, from this side, it does look pretty damn cool, doesn't it? It's like a beefed up sort of beaver dam with stone, the Clapper Bridge. The tar bridge? I don't know. Anyway, our trail. <laughs> I thought this was going to be at the top of the trail. I've got about two miles to cut up and back. It should be nice seeing it along the riverside, but uh, I was assuming that was up there. There is something else up there, I think. Let's go find out. Ah, beautiful meander along the river in the heart of Exmoor. It honestly, it feels like bloody peak district to me. Oh, mate. This is not a well-trodden trail, is it? Oh my days, bushwhacking on an official trail. That's not cool, is it? Come on, man. Should be tending to that. That's the sort of thing the parking should be paying for, do you know what I mean? I don't know about this. If it's like this the whole way, yeah, I might cut back. This ain't gonna be uh, not fun. Damn, man. Ugh, it's boggy and wet as well. Ugh, I hope that's the last of it. I need to be more foresty forest, don't I? be in my van and carry a chainsaw around with me and come out here and start tending to the trails and keeping them open access for people. Wicked man. I, honestly, that dude, Forrester Forrest, if you've never seen him, go check him out, man. He's a legend up in BC in Canada. Just out on the trails all the time. Big, massive mountains and such. And I was thinking, you know, because he cuts about eight or nine miles sometimes on these trails, which is about what I cut. But he ends up on the top of like mountainous snowy peaks in, you know, Canadian Rockies or whatever they're called. And I end up like, I don't know, we get, we get some nice spots, but it's not quite the same, is it? But he starts higher up and I'm lower down. I'm doing it wrong, mate. I need to start on top of the mountain and work my way up. I don't know. Oh, well, here's a shitting. I mean, not really, it's just a bridge, but it's kind of funky. Someone down the way was looking for a rope bridge, and I was assuming they were looking for a swinging rope bridge. No, I think that's what they were looking for, so they should scramble across it. You can't, it says, this is not a bridge. Check it out, that's for catching trees. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? I don't know, you'd think maybe the river rises a little when the trees are, you know, smashing down here, but wow. That's a lot of power coming off this river to be ripping out trees for the necessity to put something there to catch them. How do you get them out? What's the call? Bloody hell. I mean, I've just walked up this train. You can't walk up it. It needs tending to. Maybe the other side's better, but you need machinery, won't you? My mind boggles. I don't know. I'm clueless. Moving on. The rope tree bridge of tar steps. Legendary. Probably not. Gotta say, Good one, this little trip. I've only been away a couple of days, well, ish, weird, but yeah, really starting to feel it. Getting out in the middle of nowhere and away from peeps and cities and stuff. Mine's starting to tweak a little bit. Yeah, it's nice. I'm hoping to be away for at least another four, five, six days. Possibly head down towards Dartmoor. Not entirely sure. We'll see how it goes, me. Be rude not to, want it be down this way. We just legalise wild camping again in Dartmoor be rude not to do a wild camp. We'll see. Thinking about it though, I might at least give it a few days for the uh, 
ground to dry up. Look at the state of this bog fest, man. Oh, I'm so glad I put my booties on. Oh, we're gonna get softies. Oof, would have been a nightmare disaster. Gotta say, it is all a bit mad, that Dartmoor stuff, isn't it? How they like, banned wild camping because some guy had a massive amount of land and didn't want it anymore. And now we've had to fight, or people have had to fight to get it back. The thing that bugs me is like, it's not the right to wild camp, it's the right to roam. The right to actually step foot and walk across some bloody raw moorland in the middle of Dartmoor. I mean, what planet are we on, dude? It's madness. It's like all these parking spots, you know, where they've still got the signs up from Corona and stuff. They're loving it, ain't they? They don't take them down. Time to take them down. Start giving back the nature. Open it up more. Less infringements, more nature. Freaking mental health's crying out for it, for God's sake. All over the country, man. And you're putting infringements on it. Shame on you, our government. You suck ass. Yeah, and there's me bit, man. It ain't right. But we got it back. So yeah, frag it. I'm freaking going down there at some point. Let's have it and enjoy it. While I can. Ah, good news. There is a bridge over the river. I was beginning to wonder. I was like, I'm pretty sure I went past it on the trail out. From reality, it was a little bit further along, but yeah, not a bad little spot. Nice little river, gushing. I don't think you want to go down there on a paddleboard. It might be fun on a kayak, though. It's a little bit gushy for a paddleboard, eh? Looks like there's a few more trails to be had around here as well. Withy Pool. That's a bit weird. I'm sure we were there last night. Maybe a different one. If I'm honest, I think we've done the main stuff over on the east side of Dartmoor from last year's trip. And this was kind of the last tick on the list. There is a lot more stuff on the west that I haven't explored as yet. But for now, I think this trail's just going to slowly meander back towards the crib. So I guess I'll catch you back there. Oh wow, gotta say it, that sun is trying really hard to push through those clouds and every time it does, it feels oh so good. Perfect timing for getting down to Poor Lot Weir and towards the beachy areas. But I think we're gonna do a little quick stop off on the way. There's an overnighting spot not too far from there, about a 15 minute drive. It looks okay and it's definitely worth checking out for future prospects. You know, does it have a phone signal? Is it kosher, etc. So I'll show you a little bit more about it when we get there. 15 minutes on these roads yeah about an hour ah oh, here we go this is us on the left da, 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 da. oh wow sir um not overly inviting if i'm honest got an app. really this is it like it <sighs> i was expecting a little bit more than this well i've got to be honest <clears throat> i'm a little bit disappointed i'd seen pictures it may be a different spot of sort of this area with like lines on it for actual parking spots but yeah this is absolutely nothing special there's definitely better spots up on the moors and you definitely get away with it as well it's on this main a road cutting through the heart of exmoor and there's sort of those pitches where you drive five ten meters off the road and there's a sort of a, a dust patch where you can park it's not really a bother for now it's not my bag and it's not where i was wanting to be for tonight but for future prospects yeah I'd, I'd, I'd probably go for one of them i was just wondering if there was a decent view or something around here but no nothing it just feels i mean cease to fire it's just unwelcoming isn't it i mean i bet this road's absolutely dead in the night i mean look i'm standing in the middle of it now and it's like mid-afternoon so anyway future prospects for prospects for now let's get ourselves down to poor lot where Isn't that an absolute classic? Travelling around for days and months, never bumping into a National Trust car park, stumbling into one, happy days, gonna grab the car out, 
But the machine's out of order, isn't it? You park here for free. Legendary and classic. Oof. Good news, we're on the trail. And look, it's about eight miles, this trail, and there's no way I'm gonna be cutting all of it. For a few reasons, time, but also because it cuts up into the hills and moorlands where we've parked before and where we've just driven around. So I'm just gonna be cutting this end point that hopefully cuts down to some cliffs with a nice little ocean view. We'll find out. Oh well, halfway to the viewpoint, all up hill, don't you know, bloody early stone or something. But I was just thinking, looks like some great options for hiking around here. I haven't got trails for this on the app sort of looks. I mean, I haven't overly looked, so my trail that I was looking at goes right up yonder, just bumbles up here and back for a minute. But more than that, I was thinking of wild camping. They looks potential. I mean, there's a spot right here. You won't quite have a view, but almost. Only off the trail, but that car park as well would be perfect for it. Wouldn't feel uneasy about leaving your car there overnight. It looks like there's two or three campers already pitching up for the night, so I think it'd be pretty sweet and kosher, you know. To be honest, I just want to get out in the tent again. The Lanshan, try it out, pitch it up again, have a go with it. And even last night, I wound the window down on the car just to get some fresh air in and it wasn't enough. Need to be out here for the evening, smelling this all night. Beautiful, man. We'll see. Oh, what we got at the top, boom time. Pretty tidy ocean views and, oh, no way. I didn't know that were here, what's this thing? Wicked. Let's have a bot Ah, oh, looks like it's boarded up. What the, what? Stoned up. That's random. Ah, oh, some of the windows. This is a bit odd, isn't it? Wicked. <laughs> All right, you can officially get in. I was <coughs> considering through the window. Just saying, there was one open. I, that one. No way! This is legend. It's got a bloody fireplace and everything. Oof, it's a bit dingy. I was all of a sudden thinking, fish ten. But no, it's a bit bloody windy for that. It's pretty cool though. I wonder what it was. That's a bit mad, eh, look. Some sort of castle-y towel, but it doesn't feel that way with, you know, a 19th century blooming fireplace or whatever it is. 20th century, maybe. Not that I'm any sort of archaeologist or anything, you know what I mean? But yeah, I don't know. Some of it looks old. I'll date this back to about the 14th century, this stone, but no, that was done by uh, John and Cleves in the 1920s, I'm telling you. And it's in an absolute spanky doodle location. Look at this. All the way down the way, and all the way up yonder. That's where we were before. I'm really hoping I can get up there, to be honest. Later on, I mean, with the car. Here's one. There was a sign when I came down saying that that road's being closed tonight and I don't know at what time. And if it's not open, I don't know what way I can get up there. I'd have to go right into the moors and miles around. And it's not early now, do you know what I mean? It could be closed already. I was wondering, my trail's supposed to cut all the way down yonder and through the fields and such, but yeah, I might cut straight back to the crib, see if we can get up there. Might be a better idea. Well, I was about to do a boss shot on the beach and go living life on the edge, don't you know? But I'm not because that's my trail that way, according to the trail app. And yet there's a sign here saying cows only, no access to the Bosington beach. And it does go on about how cows are creating biodiversity in the landscape here. And I'm not going to go too much into detail, but I mean, forming humanity, biodiversity, those things just don't go together, so no, basically. And also, no to the option of taking that trail. We've got no choice. Can't get down there, stink. I assume you can cut it from the other side, but yeah, there were no mention of that on the trail. That. Here's the thing then, because of it, we've got exactly, precisely 10 minutes to six o'clock. I've got a sneaky feeling that road's gonna shut at six o'clock, and I think we're probably gonna get there about quarter past. Let's see what happens. Yeah, game on buddy, nine o'clock. And it's about 20 past six. We're in there like swimwear, let's go. We could have stayed down there in that car park. I think it would have been all right, but no views. I think we can do a lot, lot better. Nice, we get to come through Porlock again as well. Tidy looking village. 
Oh, pubs and such, little art gallery on the sidelines there. What else we got? Piggy in the middle, little Chef de Provence place, cafe. Oh, get my nails done on the left at the beauty shop. The big cheese, damn it. Oh, mate, if that had been open, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have minded stopping there for some local cheese, you know. Look at this village, look at this street, though. It's just, wow, quintessential wood on the buildings. You don't get that everywhere, do you? But let's be honest. Oh, look at this. Wild sheep on the trail. <laughs> Love it to bits. Back up in the moors. Beautiful area to spend the night. Here we go, bit of a sneaky trip down memory lane. Oh, this muppet in my way, Gordon Bennett. That, that was not the entry I wanted. But that is the view I wanted. Look at that for a spot. Boom time. Absolute legend of a spot, this one. And the last time I was here, there was wild horses parading around the car all night. There's even a spit of a phone signal. But I think I'm not going to stay here tonight because we stayed here before. There's a couple of other spots further west that I've never even checked out. And I think they'll be worth a little squeeze. They're going to be a similar sort of thing. Hopefully with sea view and such and maybe a better phone signal. So I guess we're about a 20 minute drive. See how we go. Ah, oh, game on then with the first spot. Check this out. It's a little place called the Rambler's Rest or something. Yeah, look. I guess some cafe. It doesn't look anything special, but let's check it out. I think we can do better than this. Well, there's absolutely no phone signal here either, but it does have absolutely stunning views. It's beautiful, no coastline. It does look like it's good for rambling though, but I'm not gonna stop here. Let's keep moving. High hopes for this one. Apparently we've got views down the coastline over to Wales, and also there's a poker phone signal. Jesus, nearly missed it. One more date. Uh, my hopes have been thwarted. Look at the state of it. Oh my days. Where's these views, man? No, oh, they're out the back door. Fair enough. <sighs> Nightmare. I don't know. This is not a decent spot. No. There's a spit of phone signal. The rumours about it having a good one on the ear. Uh, rumours. They're not true. I don't know how I could position myself to get that nice view. I think, honestly, We've just wasted petrol coming up here. I think we should have stayed where we were. And I think I'm going to head back there and look at getting some scran on. The lasagna tonight, Ridge Monkey Classic. No idea how I'm going to do that. I'll catch you there. Oh, wicked, mate. Check this out. I'm just setting up for cooking. Check what's just pulled up next to the car. Oh, and not one, but two. Oh, no, I had a little four. Oh man, what a spot. Yep, pretty glad I came back here. Oh, and in terms of the cooking, yeah, look, I'm gonna prep all the sort of meaty, flavoury stuff, and then I'll see you when we get to the lasagna stage. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, or why I'm even attempting it. This is gonna be a disaster. Right, everything's bubbling and a fizzing. Oh mate, I think we're ready for the end game. Oh God, this is a bad idea, man. I'm gonna start, I've gotta get these bloody pans out. Oh, no, no. Why did I not get these out before? What a muppet. If I slip, we're in a world of pain right about now. Oh God, my butt's stuck. I'm stuck to the roof. Dude, this is not good. Honestly, I mean, this is just absurd. I can't even spit the bloody word out. Look at the state of it, mate. There's like every pan known to man and more. Right, the logic is a simple one. That's cooked. I'm going to take, I don't know, I'm guessing, like four sheets of pasta, man. That'll be enough. Why not? Oh, frigate, dude. Let's just have one more for good luck because hey ho, this might not work. <laughs> it might need a spare. Oh. I swear I'm gonna blow myself up one day with this thing. It's not got an auto lighter, man. It scares me. Sometimes you turn it on, the gas is like, and then you go to light it, you're like, no, man, no, I'm just like blowing my face off. No, not today. Because today, God, is all about the lasagna. Jesus, pan's heavy. 
Do you think? Because there's not enough pans already, man. Let's bring out another one. Uh, freaking hey, dude. White sauce. Oh, Christ. Bechamel. And no, I'm not freaking making my own. And who wasn't going to pay £2.90 or whatever it was for a bloody jar of it? We got the shit stuff. I could have made my own because I'm a professional chef de Provence. Bit of flour, bit of butter, and milk. Keep mixing it. You gotta make that paste first and then slowly add your milk. Otherwise, you just get lumpy stuff. It's one thing I do know. Uh, honey milk. There it is. Crap, I'm guessing for this. I don't care. Just get in there, man. Christ, how much? Yeah. In with a bechamel. Oh, I don't know if it is actually a bechamel. I mean, it just says white sauce. It was non descript. So there it is. The white sauce. They're not getting soft. Oh, crap. Don't bloody burn. Right. I feel like we're starting to get somewhere. This stuff's getting thick, bubbly, and sticking to the pan. And they've gone ah, a little bit soft. Damn. Right. Let's build a lasagna. Oh, crap. This is that moment when you realise you're just not going to be able to save this pan for the rest of the trip. This is the last time you're going to see it. Got it, mate. There's no way I'm going to be able to clean that. Right, the meat's cold. Those two things are warm. So, hey, pop's good. No, there. This is also that moment when you wish you had one of them ridge monkeys that actually detaches. Mine doesn't. Yeah, anyway. Oh. Yeah, this is it's soft. It's, yeah, I mean that's all right actually. Oh god, I'm never gonna get that out of the ridge monk, am I? Oh, eh. I'm not sure where the lumps came from. Anyway, oh mate, oh crap, the bloody ridge monk is gonna eat this damn thing. Everything's gonna be an nightmare to clean. I don't know why I'm doing this, man. Why am I doing it in the ridge? I should just build it up on a plate and screw it, dude. Oh, whatever. We're not aware. I should have done like lasagna pasta wraps or something. That would have worked, wouldn't it? I mean, you'd definitely be doing this if you didn't have a YouTube channel, wouldn't you? Because, yeah, I mean, that'd make perfect bloody sense. No! <sighs> Man, I'm going cheese in the middle because it won't bloody melt on the top. Right. For some unapparent reason, I've no idea. Let's put some heat through it. <laughs> and pray. Wow, well, got to be honest, it's making some rather funny noises. Yeah, I think we need to get that out of there. Let's get it on the plate, or rather, try to get it on the plate. Oh, I didn't really think this part through. Oh, oh, oh. Yes, get in there. Wait, quick, prioritise. you got to clean the ridge, man. got to clean the ridge while it's burning up. The secret to it, it just makes it so easy to clean. Look, ha 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 ha, it is red hot though. I mean, I'm not joking, like burning hot, but yeah, it's just the easiest. All pans, except for that pan. Yeah, there's no freaking way I can get that shiznick off there. I might be able to boil water through it and use about half my resources of water to clean it, but yeah, apart from that, no chance. Da -da -da. I mean, in all honesty, it's a lasagna-ish done in a ridge monkey. And to be fair, it's pretty bloody pointless. But it tastes all right. And at least I can say I did it. Ha, <laughs> wicked mate. A lasagna in a ridge. Rah. Sleep with horses around the car and we've woke up with horny sheep. Not horny sheep, sheep with horns. You know what I mean? But yeah, what a wicked thing to wake up to in the morning. And what a great spot. It was fantastic last night, just chilling out, watching a bit of TV, listening to nature and knowing that there was going to be no bother. And there wasn't. 
any bother. It was great. From here on in, I think I'm going to take a day's editing today and then I'm going to be heading further west. I've got some really cool looking stuff to check out. Boffies, cliff top wild camps possibly and then a little village down in the far northwest of Devon that I'm hoping to stop out at. But for now, I think this is going to be a good point to end the episode. I really hope you enjoyed it. It's been nice ticking off those things on the list from Exmoor that we've wanted to do for a while. As always, if you did enjoy it, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series, and definitely hit me in the comments. Big love to everybody who watches the channel, likes, subscribes, and comments. And of course, a big love to all channel members, donators on PayPal, and buy me a coffee or like. As always, take it easy, enjoy the camp, and stay stealthy. All right.